Majestic Lookout Mountain, a place of abundant natural beauty and geologic wonder. Among the oldest mountains in the world, Lookout Mountain has risen proudly, virtually unchanged, above the Tennessee River and its valley for ages. And nowhere is the splendor and majesty of Lookout Mountain more evident than at Rock City. It was in 1924 that Garnet and Frida Carter acquired the large tract of land that was to become the site of an exciting new development. Garnet was an entrepreneur and land developer who envisioned creating a luxury neighborhood with golf course. Hampered by construction slowdowns and the planning of the community golf course, Garnet was inspired to think creatively and Tom Thumb Golf was born. The world's first miniature golf course was created right here on Lookout Mountain in the new Fairyland community, and it quickly became a phenomenon that caused a craze across the nation. Soon, Tom Thumb Golf was franchised and began to appear nationwide. While Garnet was busy with his various enterprises, Frida spent her days walking through the new property they had chosen for their own home. This land contained fabulous rock formations that had been known as the Rock City since before the Civil War. The magnificent rifts and canyons formed in the rock had been known to European travelers as early as the 1800s, but archaeological evidence suggests the habitation of this area by Native Americans for centuries before that. Frida became ever more enchanted with the wondrous formations, abundant plant life, and rich history. The daughter of German immigrants, Frida had a lifelong love of European lore and fairy tales, and soon the features of her garden were named from these beloved stories, and marking her path with string, the enchanted trail began to take shape. An early conservationist, Frida was determined to preserve Rock City's natural beauty and intrinsic worth for future generations. She carefully chose plants indigenous to Lookout Mountain and planted them along the newly formed trails and thus gave birth to world-famous Rock City Gardens. In 1932, the gates of Rock City were opened to the public for the first time. Meanwhile, America began moving its way out of the Great Depression, and the automobile was quickly working its way to the center of American life. In vast numbers, families took to the open road, eager to experience all the country had to offer. In response to this newfound form of leisure time, roadside attractions began popping up nationwide, but none could match the grandeur and enchantment of Rock City. For Frida and Garnet's new attraction to truly be a success, Garnet knew people would need to know about Rock City and Lookout Mountain. And so as legend has it, Mr. Carter met with a young man named Clark Byers to discuss his novel idea of painting barns with the message, See Rock City. And thus began one of the most successful and inventive campaigns in advertising history. Between 1936 and 1968, buyers painted well over 800 barns across the nation with this famous invitation. The barns soon took their place among the most recognizable American icons, and their widespread fame gave rise to the creation of the Rock City Birdhouse a truly sought-after collectible, which has even found its way into the permanent collection of the Smithsonian. Since 1932, millions have heeded the call to see Rock City. It has become for many a time-honored family tradition, a well-loved adventure waiting to be shared with future generations, and a place where folks can step back through history to a gentler time. Rock City is a truly American experience and a time capsule lovingly preserved by the hands of Garnet and Frida Carter. And over 75 years later, it's still here atop majestic Lookout Mountain, as enchanting as ever, creating memories worth repeating and always waiting to be explored by those who heed the call to see Rock City.